Hi church, my name is Ian. As a kid, I grew up alone with my grandmother. After I was born, my mom abandoned me and ran off to Thailand. Till today, I've never met my own mother, nor do I know how she looks like. My dad only re-entered my life when I turned 11. Growing up, I always felt abandoned and inferior. I would ask myself questions like, why are my parents not living together with me and taking care of me? Is it because they don't love me? Is it because I'm not good enough? And why am I so different from others? And every Chinese New Year, birthday and Christmas, it's always the time where I feel most alone. And as a result, I grew up very independent. And all my life, I've depended only on myself for my studies. And I had no tuition provider to help me. And when it came to food and shelter, I had to work during school holidays to earn my keep. And whenever I was in need, I wouldn't have anyone to turn to. To myself, I have to be independent and strong for myself because I have no one. And when my grandmother passed away, I lost the only companion and person I confided in. I felt a great loss. And I was also so afraid that my uncle would sell the house or ask me to find my own place to stay. This would mean that I wouldn't have a roof under my, under my head. But I'm thankful that that didn't happen. And last year in June, I was invited by my good friend, Brandon, to Camp One, a LYL Zone youth camp. I really didn't know what to expect, as I had never attended a single City Harvest Church service then. But when I saw how happy and how loud the campers were, I was like, wow, I've never attended church before. And I was really so blown away to see how they worship Jesus, how many were crying in the presence of God and responding to the other cause. And from then on, I was really curious to know more about who this Jesus was. And on the final night of the camp, we had an event called the Feast Coast Party, a sports outreach with performances and barbecue. And many new friends were invited. And someone sang a song about God's love and shared a testimony. And I was very moved then and gave my heart to Jesus. And moving on, I started attending cell group meetings and services very regularly. I also attended the church mass Bible study and was water baptised last August by Pastor Kong. God has indeed been good to me. I experienced a healing miracle in March this year. I underwent a major surgery on my torn ligaments on my knee. And the doctor said that I would have to be on crutches for two and a half months and it would be impossible for me to travel to school. I chose to believe in the report of the Lord and not the report of the doctor and kept yeah. praying and confessing for my healing. And Pastor Ilu and Pei came to my house and prayed for me. In two weeks, I was able to walk and I, was, and I made it for the first day of school a month later with no crutches. <laughs> and praise the Lord for this speedy healing. And in this year's Camp 1, I was given the opportunity to serve as an assistant team leader. It was a huge step for me as I had to take much time to prepare for the house performances, attending prayer meetings and house meetings. This time, I also came to Camp 1 with a different attitude. I was greatly expectant and desperate to be touched by God's presence. I entered every session with an open heart to praise and worship Him and listen to, to His words attentively and respond to the altar calls. And one month later, I started serving in Children's Church by doing weekly house visitation, busing and helping out in the Saturday main services. And even in the midst of my polytechnic exams, I still continued attending cell group meetings and church services. And by God's grace, I had a GPA of 3.9 out of 4. And in addition, I came in first position in my cohort and was awarded a diploma prize. And also I topped, I topped my cohort for two modules. Wow. And all glory goes to God. Wow, amen, amen. And now, instead of relying on my own strength during my times of need, I've learned that I can pray and focus on Jesus, amen. trusting Him in everything that I face and all that I have and all that I am my past and present is all by His grace Amen. 
And I want to take this time to encourage all of you who have yet to know this Jesus, to give yourself a chance to know Him and experience Him and experience this amazing Saviour. And thank you W584 for standing together with me. And most importantly, to those who have discipled me in my spiritual journey, Pastor Ilun and Peiting, for believing in me. And most of all, thank you, Jesus. That's right. Let's give Ian a big, big hand. What a wonderful testimony. Come on, let's give Ian a big hand.